Hello, Wes, we're here back with another video, and today we're going over the new potential best in slot ring, the Reavers Ring. It's a new ring that came out with the Rex Matriarch update, and I was able to get my hands on one on day of release. You can make the ring by combining a Heart of the Berserker with 10 Berserker rings, with Berserker rings being about 10 mil each and the Heart being about 5 mil. The total cost of the ring is about 105 mil at this point. Also note that the ring does not degrade, so there's no extra upkeep cost for using it. The ring has the same stats as the current Ring of Death at 27 style bonus for each style, but it also has a special effect that gives you a plus 5% increased critical chance at the cost of negative 5% accuracy. It's tough to exactly gauge how much DPS the plus 5% increased critical chance is, as it depends on a lot of factors like your precise perk rank, your equilibrium perk rank, whether you're using the Grimoire, whether you have biting, is that biting level 20, what abilities are you using, do you have greater fury and how often do you use it? All those factors come together to give like a percentage increase for DPS for 1% critical chance, but roughly for every 1% increase in critical hit chance, it leads to a 0.6% increase in DPS on non-bleed abilities. So the 5% increased critical chance would lead to an increase of about 3% DPS. Still a rough estimate. On the other hand, there is the negative associated with the ring where you lose 5% accuracy. This means that if you have less than 105% hit chance without the ring, then you will start to miss your attacks. If your hit chance is 105% and above, then the accuracy loss has no impact on your DPS. But if your hit chance is below that, you're going to be splashing and therefore losing damage. Losing 5% accuracy loses 5% damage, which is more than the 3% damage gained from the critical chance buff. So at a place like Virago, where you only have about 80% accuracy, you're never going to want to use this ring because you're losing 5% damage to gain 3% damage. From that, we can determine that it's the best in slot ring wherever you have 100% accuracy with the ring equipped. There are a lot of high level bosses where accuracy isn't an issue, and there are some places that I want to highlight that I've tested the ring at. The first place I'm going to talk about is AFK Rathus. I've been doing a lot of this while working for my Rex Matrix log. With a Slayer Task, T90 Prayer, Elder Overload, and the T92 Spear, I have more than enough accuracy to never miss. They're also increasing the affinity of the monsters on the next game update, so that means the accuracy is going to be even higher there, so I probably won't even need the Slayer Task to not splash. The extra critical chance buff is really nice because it gives me a good chance to kill Rathus without having her heal from the second poison pool. This is a place that I think has long-term application for this ring, as if you're on task with the best gear, you will not splash and can take advantage of the hybrid nature of the ring. Also, Jagex, if you could give me the pets, that would be great. Thanks. The next place I'm going to talk about is Elite Dungeon. These bosses were designed to not be heavy on the accuracy penalty as people didn't want to rely on Zerker Auras. We now have War's Retreat, so they've kind of walked that back a little bit where we can be on Zerker Aura all the time. From what I've found in my testing is that when I'm using a non-Zerker Aura like Majorat or Dark Magic that is not worth using the Reaver's Ring as it potentially leads to you being able to splash. But if you have a Zerker Aura on then you want to use the Reaver's Ring. I've been grinding out ED3 and I have seen a noticeable increase in my DPS. This is most notable in getting the one cycle for phase one. Before with the Ring of Death, I was entering the spinner phase at about 710k HP on Ambassador, but now I'm regularly getting below 700k HP, meaning that the final 150k HP is much less stressful for getting the one cycle, and I'm even consistently getting it before the Black Hole special, which is something I hadn't done before the, the ring existed. If you're right on the border of getting the one cycle, this ring might be enough to get you over the edge. The same goes for Elite Dungeon 2 and 1. For Elite Dungeon 2, you're going to want to be using ranged in order to maintain the 100% accuracy, as most of the monsters in the dungeon are mage-based. For Elite Dungeon 1, either ranged or melee works for clearing the dungeon quickly. Right when I heard about the Reaver's Ring, the first place I thought about was Solak. Solak checks off all the requirements for being a good place to use the ring. You hybrid it pretty consistently, your hit chance is through the roof, the Grimoire is free so there is synergy with the plus 12% crit chance from that, the boss is all about dealing as much damage as possible in a quick amount of time while dealing with the mechanics correctly. So we scrapped together a team and went to Solak, and I love the ring. The extra critical hits are nice, and when you stack together with Biting 4 with level 20, the Grimoire, your base critical hit chance, and the Reaver's Ring, you end up with a total critical chance of 30.8%, just a crazy amount of crits. I would use Greater Ricochet, and 2-3 to three of the hits would critical each time. 
I personally noticed an increase to my own DPS, but was unable to see how this impacted kill times as it was free death week and we were teaching some friends how to do Sulak, so we weren't getting all the DPS skips yet. The one place where the ring is annoying is Roots. For some odd reason, the Roots in Phase 1 have the highest defense of everything in the fight, and with Majorot Aura on, T92 weapons, and T99 per, I was still splashing on the Roots occasionally, so if you're going to use this ring and kill the Roots, you're going to want a second ring to use for that part. For me, in my setup, I just kept my Ring of Vigor on, um, and that worked perfectly fine, but beyond that, it's the best installed ring for Solak and the rest of the fight. The last high-level boss we're going to look at is Angel of Death. It's tough to get your hit chance to 100% there, but if you have a Stadius Warhammer in the team, you got it covered. The Reaver's Ring is great at AOD because, again, it's a boss that is all about doing as much damage as you can in the least amount of time possible. I am the quote-unquote perm chinner on my AOD team, and I use this ring pretty much exclusively during the free death week. A lot of range rotations start with an incendiary shot on a dummy before the fight starts, which means that each critical hit for the next 30 seconds gives 10% extra adrenaline. If you combo that with the Reaver's Ring, that means you have an extra 5% chance to gain 10% adrenaline with each ability, and something like Greater Ricochet has multiple hits to crit and roll that 10% extra adrenaline. I noticed a large increase to my DPS as Chinner, and while I normally get between the 3rd and 4th drop pile, I ended up getting between the 2nd and 3rd fairly consistently with the new ring. I would again call it the best in slot ring at AOD. If you've been paying attention, you'll have noticed that I've mentioned free death week twice now, and deaths are a big deal with this ring, namely because the Reaver's ring is a ring, which means it takes up the slot of the ring of death, and that means I can't use the ring of death to save me from death costs. And the death cost when you have a Ring of Death on is 30% of an Onyx, which is about 900k. Instead, I need to pay the full cost of my death, and if we look at my AOD preset, you can just see why this isn't a good idea. We're throwing away an about extra 10 mil GP just to have a little extra damage with the ring. For people who never die, this might be a good idea, but for someone like me who dies every hour or two at AOD, it's not worth the 10 mil in extra death cost for the small increase in damage. The extra kills won't pay for those deaths. This is also true for my Solak preset, my ED3 preset, and any other high level bossing preset I have. With that in mind, it doesn't mean that this ring is useless. There are still some places I would use it. First off, AFK Rathus. As long as I have a task or once the changes go through, perfectly fine to use and it speeds up my kills per hour. It's free, don't need to pay anything. Perfect. God Wars Dungeon 2 or Rex Matrix level content. This is content where you're not going to die at very frequently, so the small increase in DPS will actually lead to enough extra kills to pay for the odd death that you do have every like 5 or 10 hours, let's say. There's Slayer where you have 100% accuracy with the ring on, there's a lot of tasks that don't have big defense, and the extra critical chance means more kills, more damage, more XP per hour. And Slayer is a very safe skill except for some of the high level mobs, or if you forget to accidentally turn on auto retaliate like I seem to do. And then the last place is for XP grinding. Same sort of thing with Slayer, um, you're, you're in a very safe environment and having the ring on is free and it's more DPS, more kills, and more XP per hour. This ring is hella fun to use, and I wish Jagex would look into death cost or some way to not have the Reaver's Ring be an increase in death cost of 10 mil for high level PVM setups. The same setups where this ring would have shined the most. Whether it be a rod stand, infusing your rod into the Reaver's Ring, or just plainly changing the scaling so it's not as punishing with all the gear that PVMers have now. But I'll leave that to you, Jagex. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like. It really helps out the algorithm and pushing it out to more people. And if you're enjoying my videos, the subscription button is free and just one press away. If you have any questions or something to say, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it. But past that, have a good day and I'll catch you in the next one.